With normal ventilation, an average adult will breathe 12 to 20 breaths per minute and will maintain end tidal carbon dioxide readings between 35 and 45 millimeters of mercury. This is the rate needed to maintain a healthy balance of oxygen coming in and carbon dioxide going out. With abnormal ventilation, the body is said to be hyper or hypoventilating. A body that is hyperventilating is breathing faster than 20 breaths per minute. Conversely, a body that is hypoventilating is breathing slower than 12 breaths per minute. Hyperventilation can be a compensatory mechanism for the body to blow off CO2, which can be caused by pain, anxiety, exercise, illegal drugs, stimulants, a heart attack, head injuries, diabetic ketoacidosis. When we hyperventilate, our bodies blow off carbon dioxide, causing a rise in pH. When the pH of our blood rises, our bodies become more alkalotic. Symptoms may include lightheadedness, chest pain, numbness and tingling, twitching, vision changes, syncope. Hypoventilation can be caused by a central nervous system depressant or other injury, such as alcohol, medications, illegal drugs, head injuries, chronic lung disease, obesity, altitude, strokes. Instead of blowing off carbon dioxide, hypoventilation causes the body to retain carbon dioxide. The buildup of CO2 causes the body's pH to fall, making it more acidotic. Symptoms may include fatigue, headache, cyanosis, confusion, hypoxia. The body is able to regulate its ventilatory rate as a normal response to an increase or decrease of carbon dioxide in the body. For example, during exercise, the body breathes faster to eliminate excess CO2 built up by the increased muscle use. To recap, when we hyperventilate, we blow off more CO2 and the body becomes increasingly alkalotic. When we hypoventilate, we retain CO2 and the body becomes increasingly acidotic. This regulation of ventilatory rate can be a normal response to compensate for an increased or decreased level of carbon dioxide in the body to bring the body's pH back into a normal range.